Hello, and welcome to this section of the Algebra Tutor. Uh, in this section, we're going to begin to talk about polynomials. And, uh, you know, if you're like most students, when you see the word polynomial, uh, it, you immediately start to get worried about it because it's a big word. It's a word that no one's ever heard of until they start talking about algebra, and it just seems difficult. But I promise you, if you just stick with me and kind of go step by step, you'll find out that polynomials are actually not a big deal, and in fact, you've been really learning about polynomials sort of up till this point without even knowing about it. We're just going to put a label on it and start to talk about it, uh, you know, in the context of how you would see it in a book. And uh, the other thing is, 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 you know, algebra and all of math, a lot of times, a lot of the barrier is the definitions to understand what are they talking about when they say negative number. Well, now you know what negative numbers are. So now when you see polynomial, you'll know what they're talking about. It won't be such a scary deal, all right? So what I would like to do is write the word on the board because you'll probably see it in your textbook written quite a bit. Uh, polynomial, polynomial. Let me ask you a question. Polynomial. Now, most people don't know what a nomial is, right? But what does poly mean when you look at the beginning? Poly. Poly means many, you know? Polygon is a you know, many-sided figure. Um, there's many examples you can come up with, with with poly in the beginning. It means it means many. So when we talk about polynomials in algebra, we're talking about um, expressions that have many terms, basically, more than one term. So we'll talk about and give some examples in a second. Now, before we get to do that, let me tell you that there's really three main types of polynomials that we're going to talk about in the, in the context of this class that you'll encounter in most algebra. One of them is called a monomial. One of them is called a binomial. And the other one is called a trinomial. Trinomial. All right. So um, you have bicycle, starts with bi. That means two, two wheels. You have tricycle, that starts with tri, uh, that has three wheels. And you know, monocycle or monocycle has one wheel. So those prefixes should tell you what we're talking about here. Basically, monomials are going to be um, polynomials that just have one term. Binomials are going to be the polynomials that have two terms. And the trinomials are just going to be polynomials that have three terms. And what I mean by term will be very clear when we write some examples down. So these words, when you see them in textbooks, really freak students out a lot because they look so diff different and hard. But just look at the beginning. Polynomial means many terms, and these are just different types. One of them describes, you know, polynomials that only have one term. The other one describes polynomials with two terms, and the other one describes polynomials with three terms. So it's really, honestly, not a big deal at all. These labels look difficult, but they're really not. So let me go ahead and just kind of draw a little divider here. And let me give you an example of your first polynomial. 3z squared. And you're probably looking at that and you're saying, well, this doesn't look complicated. We've been doing things with stuff like this all the time. You know, 3z squared doesn't look any different from lots of the expressions we were dealing with in the last couple of sections. Well, that's what I was telling you. You've been kind of learning about these polynomials all the time without thinking about it. And you've, you know what this means is 3 times the variable z times the variable z again, because z squared means z times z. So that's all this basically means. But let me ask you, what type of polynomial do you think this is? Do you think it's a monomial, binomial, or trinomial? Well, there's only one term here. When we say a term, we mean a grouping of things multiplied together, basically is a term. There's only one term here, so we call this a monomial. All right, it's a type of polynomial that only has one term. All right, so you'll see 